Hello everyone. Let's provide a clear solution to this problem. X multiplied by X multiplied by X plus X equals 10. Now, we are to provide the complete solution to this problem. So sit back and um, get it straight. Now, X multiplied by X multiplied by X will give us x to the power of 3, then plus x. This is equal to 10. Now, some persons will be tempted to say x to the power of 3 plus x is x is x to the power of 4, but that is not correct. You cannot add these two together. The only thing you can do is to factorize, but we don't need that at the moment. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x. This becomes minus 10, and then this is equal to 0. So if you have a problem like this, you begin to imagine how you can progress with it. But mind you, we can express 10 in this form. So it's better you go that way so that we have x to the power of 3 plus x, right? Then this is minus 10, I will open bracket, and have 10 is the same as 8 plus 2. So this is now equal to 0. I'm using 8 plus 2 because I can express 8 plus 2 to be in this form. So we'll now be having x to the power of 3 plus x. Okay, so we have minus, open bracket, 8 is 2 to the power of 3, then plus 2 close this bracket and equates to zero so from here what we have in these two brackets they are in the same form right but then you need to open the bracket so we have x to the power of three plus x then minus two to the power of three this negative will affect this it becomes negative two and everything is equal to zero from here there will be need for us to regroup so that x to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 will be together. So now we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. We will deal with this separately. Then we'll have plus open bracket x and minus 2 will be together. x minus 2 closes bracket and equates to 0. Now what will I do from here? Remember that if you have dif uh, difference of two cubic terms, this is what you should do, a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is an example, okay? This is not part of the work or an illustration, as you may say. So this is equal to a to the, okay, a minus b, close this first. Then in the other bracket, you will be having a squared plus ab, then plus b squared, okay? So this means that our a now is x and our b is 2. So let's substitute, let's write this in this form. So that in place of a squared, I'll write x squared. Then minus, oh, I'm supposed to write this first, right? So that means we're having just x, right? Then um, we have from um, b is 2. So we write 2 over there, close this. Remember, there's nothing over there, okay? Then, in the second bracket, we have a squared, which will be x squared. Then, plus ab will be 2 times x. That will be 2x. Then, plus b squared, which will be 2 squared. Close this. Then, we have plus what we have over there. Remember, the whole of this gave us this. So, we are going over there. Write x minus 2. Then, equate to 0. Now, from here, there will be need for us to factorize. We have x minus 2 here and x minus 2 over there. So, it has to come out. What is here now is x squared plus 2x, then 2 squared is 4. Okay, let me have this in bracket. Then, plus x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 will have 1. Okay, so we equate to 0. Now, x minus 2 is still a common factor. 
but then we can add these two. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. And then close this and equate to 0. Now we have two terms to multiply to get 0, in order to get 0. So if you multiply this and this, you're getting 0. So it means either of them is equal to 0, or both of them are equal to 0. So we're going to have x minus 2 to be equal to 0, or x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. Simple, right? Good. So from here, our x is equal to 2. That is the first solution and a real solution to the problem. But from here, we can equally continue so that we can get additional two solutions. This is a quadratic equation. x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. And we're going to use the formula method to deal with this. So in the formula, we have ABC, right? A is a coefficient of x squared. That would be 1. B is a coefficient of x. That is 2. And C is a constant, and that is 5. Now, what is the formula? Okay, I believe some of you may not be able to recall the formula, right? We call it quadratic general formula. X is equal to, we have from minus B, plus or minus, we have square root of B squared minus 4AC. Everything is over 2A. Okay, so what we'll do now is to substitute right into this formula. Okay, so this means we have x to be equal to minus b becomes minus 2 plus or minus. This b squared becomes 2 squared, right? Minus 4 times a is 1. Then times c, and our c is 5. So the whole of this is over 2 times 1. Now, to continue with this, our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus, we have square root of 4 minus 20. 20 because we have 4 times 1 times 5, and the whole of that is over 2. Now, we can subtract um, 4. We can have 4 minus 20 to get minus 16, right? So this is what we have. Now x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16. Square root of 16. So where would the negative be? We can pick out the negative and get it as negative 1. Then we divide this by 2. This way we can get our x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 square root of 16 rather is 4 then multiply by square root of negative 1 and it is imaginary so we write i the whole of this will be divided by 2 mind you 2 can go here and 2 can go into 4 so we we'll have our x to be equal to minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1 plus or minus 2 into 4 is 2, so we have our i. So what are we saying? We now have a 2 in 1 solution. So let's get the 3 solutions. x is equal, okay, let's call it x1, is equal to 2. That is the first solution we got. Then our x2 is from here, minus 1 plus 2i. Then our x3 is also from here. And it's equal to minus 1 minus 2i. So these are the three solutions. But mind you, the only real solution here is the first one, which is um, x equals 2. Thank you for watching.